So, you're all signed up and ready to go to London for OCR World Championships. The only thing left to do is to get a jersey that represents your country. Do you go with Legendborn or do you go with Akuma? Well, let's find out. What's up everyone, Derek Krasansky here, your obstacle activist. And on this channel, we cover OCR related content and product reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, full disclosure, my team does wear Legendborn jerseys. That being said, I'm gonna make this review as unbiased as possible and give you my honest opinion on both of these jerseys today. All right, so the first category that I'm gonna be discussing today is the design itself. I mean, let's face it, if you're gonna buy something that you're gonna be wearing and being seen in, you wanna look good, right? So that's gonna be the first category that we're gonna compare both Akuma and Legendborn to today. Now, don't get me wrong, I do understand that design and you know that preference is totally objective. Everyone's gonna be different, everyone's gonna like something different. So this is just my personal take on what I think is the best looking jersey. Now between the two, both the Akuma and Legendborn USA jerseys, I have to say right off the bat, I am a big fan of Legendborn. I think their design is just a lot more intricate, it's a lot more detailed, there's more going on, and a lot more to draw your eye to the jersey, and for me, that's just something that I personally like a lot better. Now on the flip side, when it comes to Akuma, I think the reason why I'm not as big of a fan of their design um, I think it's more boring and it kind of looks like a soccer jersey compared to, I guess, an OCR jersey. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what like an OCR jersey is supposed to look like, but I just think it's a little bit boring, a little bit bland, and for that reason, I do have to go to the design with Legendborn on that one. Now, although I think the Akuma version is a lot more bland and more boring, I do also want to point out that they have the OCR WC patch to show that they are the sponsored jersey for OCR Worlds. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, Legendborn is not the sponsored jersey for them this year, so they don't get the opportunity or the rights to rep that branding. So if that's something you're into, you might wanna go with the Akuma jersey, just because it does have that patch and that branding to represent OCR World Championships. All right, so I would also like to point out that Legendborn has jerseys for 30 different countries. I'll list them here on the page somewhere, while Akuma only has 15. So there's a big difference there, depending on what country you're from and what country you wanna represent you may or may not have the option to depending on which company you go with. So keep that in mind as well. So after design, the next thing that I personally look for is the price. I don't care how good something looks, if it's way too expensive, I'm probably not gonna buy it. Now, Legendborn is veteran owned and operated and everything is made here in the USA. The Kuma, on the other hand, is made in the UK. Uh, the main reason why I state this is because it greatly affects your pricing when it comes to shipping. So Legendborn offers two different variants of all their jerseys for their countries for both men and women. They have both a sleeveless version as well as a sleeve jersey, and both of them go for the same price of $74.99. Now after that base price, you have a couple of different add-ons and additions that you can do to those jerseys to make them personal to you. The first thing you can do is add your name. Most people choose this option, and that is $10. After that, you can also add a number to your jersey, and that's an additional five. And then you can go one step further and add what they call a chip it system, which is another $5. Basically what that chip it system is, is a sleeve on the back of the jersey that you can take and put your timing chip on the back. That way you're not having to put it on your wrist or put it in your pocket or put it on your shoe. And it actually really does work. You don't have to worry about the chip falling out. I've used it myself. It does work very, very well. I personally think it's worth the $5 to spend it. So that being said, it's actually free right now on all their new 2018 designs. So I'm just gonna nix that cost right now and say that it's free. So if you price out your jersey like I personally did, I have the jersey, the free chip it, my name on it, and then the shipping. So total that comes out to $93.64. If you wanna add a number to it, that would bring it up to $98.64. So definitely not cheap. Now let's compare it to Akuma. So right off the bat, it's essentially um, very similar to Legend Morn in that they have two different styles of jerseys for both men and women. Again, both a sleeveless eraser back or a sleeve uh, jersey version. Their starting prices, however, are gonna be a little bit cheaper. For a sleeveless, it's gonna be $64.95. If you do the sleeve version, it's gonna be $69.95. But do not let that price fool you. If you live here in the US and you're not gonna be picking it up at the venue, which by the way, if you're picking up at the venue for Akuma, it's free shipping, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you're like myself who wanted it you know, now and before the event, you are gonna have to spend $25 on shipping alone since they are a UK-based company. So unlike Legendborn, they don't offer a custom number to put on jersey, and they don't offer the chip-it system. They do, however, include the name on the back of the jersey included in the price. You're not having to pay that 10 additional dollars to add your name to your jersey. So if you get the same style jersey that I did, the sleeve version with my name on it, it comes out to $94.95. It's 
actually a dollar more expensive than the Legendborn, but I did have it shipped here to me, so that was $25. If I decided to pick it up at the event in London, then the Akuma jersey is actually going to be a lot cheaper. So that being said, I do have to give the slight edge to Akuma in the price category, just because you can pick it up at the event with no shipping charge. Alright, so the third category that we're going to compare the jerseys on today is the quality and the material itself of the jerseys. I will say both jersey materials are honestly pretty similar in, in terms of you know what they're made out of, their stretchiness their feel, their texture, they're honestly pretty similar there. Uh, that being said, I think I'm gonna have to go and give the slight edge to Legendborn, just because I know they specifically create and craft their jerseys for obstacle course racing, whereas Akuma, now don't quote me on this, I may be incorrect in saying this, but I'm fairly certain that their OCR jersey is the exact same material as their rugby jerseys. There's really no difference between the material there. Whereas Legendborn, they're actually on, I think, their eighth or ninth iteration of OCR jerseys. And this material is specifically designed for obstacle course racing. It doesn't snag on barbed wire. It doesn't, you know, rip or tear. Now, that being said, I haven't ripped or torn in my Akuma either, but I also haven't tested it as far as I have with my Legendborn. Again, because my team does race in Legendborn jerseys, I've worn them a lot more often. I have a lot more experience in them. And I can say, you know, without a doubt, they stand up to pretty much everything you can throw at it. So moving right along to our fourth comparison category, we have the actual fit of the jersey itself. I don't care how good a jersey looks, what the price of it is, or the quality of it, if it doesn't fit me or my body type, I'm not gonna buy it, and you shouldn't either. So since the Akuma jersey is made in the UK, they do go off a of UK sizing. Basically what UK sizing is, in terms of comparing it between, uh, you know, US sizing, is that it's a lot more slimmer, it's a lot more precision fit, it's gonna be smaller and tighter. A good comparison of this is if you take the Akuma jersey and lay it on top of the Legborn jersey, you'll actually see those differences in, you know, just how they fit and the cut of the jersey itself. The Akuma is more of like a sport rounded bottom, whereas the Legendborn is what we're used to here in the US with a nice straight bottom. You'll also see on the sides, it's a lot more slimmer as I was saying. And if you look at the bottom, you will in fact see that the Legendborn jersey is a little bit longer than the Akuma jersey. Um, so there's gonna be a little bit difference there on what your preference is on how short or long you like your jersey. For me and my body type, I'm 5'6", 140 pounds, really wide back, and a little bit bigger arms. So a UK sizing doesn't exactly work for my body type. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit slimmer, a little bit tighter, and a little bit shorter. So it just doesn't look as good on me. It looks very, very tight. It's not as comfortable. My armpits are kind of eating it. It just didn't really work for me in terms of fit. Now with Legendborn, since they're made here in the US, I don't know if they did, you know, like USA sizing in the fact that, you know, we're fatter and bigger here. I don't know, but I did find that the jersey itself fits me and my body type a little bit better. Now again, everyone's different. It, you know, it could be totally other which way around in terms of fit, but for me, my body type, the Legendborn did fit better. It was a little bit roomier in the back and in the waist and was a little bit longer. I do wish there was like an in-between between the Akuma and the Legendborn jersey. I wish it was an in-between length of the Akuma and Legendborn because I think the Legendborn was a little bit too long on me and kind of went down over my butt, which I'm not really a fan of. And I think the Akuma was a little bit too short and too tight. So in a perfect world, I would actually combine the two, but because the Akuma was too tight on me and is not very comfortable to wear, I do have to give the edge here to Legendborn. So the fifth and final category that we're gonna be hitting on today to compare them is shipping. Um, no one wants to wait, you know, three and four months to get a jersey, right? So I do wanna hit on this because there are two very big differences between the shipping of these items. Now, even though Akuma is based in the UK, even if you order here in the US, it only takes about two to three weeks uh, to get your jersey, whereas Legendborn actually takes about four to six weeks. So if you want a jersey and you know want one a lot sooner, Akuma's the way to go. If you don't mind weighing a little bit more or you like some more of the features on the Legendborn jersey, then you wanna go with that one. So when it comes to shipping, I do have to give the edge here to Akuma just because they do ship a couple weeks faster. That being said, doesn't always mean they're better. You may like some of the things and the design on the Akuma or you may like some of the options and the design on Legendborn. It kinda of is your personal preference there, but I do have to give the edge to strictly shipping to Akuma. So there you have it guys, those are the main differences between Akuma and Legendborn. And honestly, it is up to you, the buyer, on which one you wanna to decide to buy. 
For me personally, I like the design of the Legendborn jersey better. I just think it looks better, it's more attractive, more appealing to me personally, as well as just the fit itself. Um, again, I don't really fit into the Akuma jersey. I'm a little bit more of a muscular build. I have a wider back, a little bit bigger arms, and the Akuma jersey just isn't comfortable for me. So I am going to be repping the Legendborn jersey this year at OCR World Championships in London. But hey, maybe you're a little bit different. Maybe you personally like Akuma more. Maybe you know you like some of their designs better, or you like their pricing better, or you like the fact that they can pick up at the venue for free. I don't know, you tell me. Which jersey are you gonna be buying and repping this year at OCR Worlds in London? Leave a comment down below and let me know. That's all I have for this one. Till next time guys, peace.